Ah. Uh, happiness. Hmm. See, this is one of the things that a lot of people who talk to me about the clinical depression don't seem to get is it's been years, years since I felt happy. I felt okay. I felt like, yeah, okay, whatever. And I just keep on going along. It speaks to the testimony at, uh, you know, in human society that, you know, we continue on and on. But happy, actually really been happy. Like, God, years and years uh, since I've been truly happy. And that's, that's not a good thing. And that's the big problem with the clinical depression is what I get to is blah or sort of a, yeah, I'm all right. And yeah, I'm all right is as good as it ever, ever gets. And that's not how I want to live my life. And um, uh, it, it, I'm back here in Victoria and there's something about this city that reinforces the, yeah, that's as good as it gets. There's a missing vibrancy over here. And I think the vibrancy helps me. And certainly it did in Vancouver. I mean, yeah, it rains there. And rain, I, it takes my mood from eh to crappy, you know, when in you know five minutes flat. But here in Victoria, I'm just feeling like this isn't home. This isn't where I'm passionate about. And it doesn't help anything. But anyway, I would like to be happy. That's really the ultimate goal to this, is that occasionally I would feel happy. The house that I was living in was not doing it. Um, what I was doing with my life wasn't doing it. So this year of living um, homeless, or voluntarily homeless, is an attempt to try and see if I can get to a place that, I'm trying to find a therapist that will work uh, with cognitive behavior therapy with me and somebody with ADHD so they understand where I'm coming from. These are all things I'm doing to try and see if I can find a place so that I can actually be happy for a change. My worry is that this may mean I have to leave Victoria because I may not be able to be happy in this place. And that's a problem because my kids live here. My youngest will be back from Costa Rica um, in the middle of 2017. And I'm not going to live in a different city from him. So I'm sort of um, tied to this city for at least another 8 to 10 years. So I that's the other thing I have to come to terms with. I'm living in this city. How do I make peace with it so that this city can make me happy? And I don't know what that is. I don't know where the answer to it is. Anyway, I'm off to uh, CFAX in a moment. Uh, do my regular Thursday, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. talking about local government in this city. Thanks a lot. Bye.